Welcome to a Monday update. <laughs> I just finished leveling this and adding the last few bolts and tightening them all down. So the bottom half is officially kind of done. The last three pieces that go on top of this, which is the part that actually raises our samples, um, Larry's going to work on while I head on to Nevada today for a Highline project and some surprise shenanigans, more episodes and all sorts of stuff I'm excited about, but I'll save that for another video. When I'm done with that project and visiting my family in Idaho for a week, I'm gonna come back here, make sure that looks good, make sure we paint it, because I don't wanna do anything up there. This bottom half is no problem. And then we rent a 100 foot crane, you know, math, to lift our 45 or 50 foot uh, is at the highest peak part, because we're gonna put a watch tower thing at the top because of course I'm gonna wanna hang out up there. And then we're gonna add triangles all over the place to this to stabilize. And then a really cool thing is we're gonna add climbing holds up the legs. And the backside will be more like a climbing route, even though we need to access the backside for um, camera angles, samples, there's all sorts of things we wanna do. We wanna be able to access all of this. And of course I want to stand about where I'm at right now. Um, we're gonna build like a little platform right there so we can access the master point, which is gonna be right here. And yeah, I'm about, my feet are 20 feet high. This point is 25 feet high from the concrete footings, which I'm glad we put in. Anyways, I'm getting some auto belay devices for uh, both sides so we can climb up, which will be super fun and also uh, be safe the entire time we're on this. I don't want anybody getting hurt on this or the show is over. So uh, yeah, lots of, lots of details, lots and lots and lots of details. But uh, I'm, putting, I'm filming the whole process so we can do a whole episode on start to finish the process, even though you guys are getting these updates. Update on the load cell is Loadstar hooked me up with some uh, adjusted software, which is awesome. And it did not work on my computer, so I have to uh, figure it out if it's a computer or the software, and then they'll fix it if that's the case, but takes time. Uh, and then I didn't have interference on a few tests I did. So I have to basically, I know the electricity is super good enough. I just need to see if I can create the interference problem and uncreate it, recreate it. So it's just, uh, obviously the tower has been taking all my time for the, gosh, have I only been home for a week? I don't know, I haven't been home that long. So I'm happy with the progress we're making. 1% better every day, never gets to 100%. I think that's how math works. Little episode teaser is this is a four millimeter soft shackle and double wrapped. Uh, I broke it between this point and that point and it broke at 36 kilonewtons. And that was pretty cool because uh, this might be a very nice way to connect segmented high lines, which is what we're gonna be experimenting with in Nevada. This is what this looks like down here. It's pretty cool. I'm excited. I got, uh, uh, lots of offers for helps with uh, the website and the how not to.org concept. Um, definitely have people who can build whatever we, uh, whatever we dream up. And I realized that I think the problem is um, I don't know what I want. I realize like I'm the biggest clog in the system. Uh, it's not just because I'm like micromanage or a control freak, which is of course the case, but it's like, I don't, I can probably shoot the target if like, if I can see it, but I'm shooting in the dark. I really don't know what the end goal is. I really want to have a clear directive end goal for the website. Pretty much have it in my head for the the episodes, just like the load cells. It's just a matter of tinkering with it. For the website, we'll probably do 10 or 30 blogs of the videos we have. See if people like it. I'm going to want your guys' feedback as we do that to see if uh, that form, obviously I know the Instagram form works. Then I had mixed reviews on the TikTok reformatting of the episodes we put out where we just put uh, snippets on TikTok or a 30 second version of the episode on Instagram or a written version with screenshots in a blog form. And if that's worth the effort, the time, or if it's not that really not hard because I already write the descriptions a lot more thorough than I used to. So working on the end goal target of how not to, um, we're working and collaborating with some bigger brands. Hopefully we can uh, do some cool stuff, talking to some rope companies, so we can get 200 meter spools of just everything we can get our hands on. So when we test this, I wanna know if canyoneering ropes uh, 
break lower when you tie them in a figure eight percentage wise because they have like Dyneema core. You tie a knot in Dyneema, it lowers, like significantly lowers the strength. Just because you put a sheath on it, it makes it all better. I don't know. So just tons and tons of questions. Um, yes, we are going to test ascenders and micro tractions and all that kind of stuff. Shock loading, tooth devices on ropes. So many things we're going to test on this. But uh, the line scale three should be in my hands in about three weeks, which um, we'll go in a, a whole nother Monday episode on kind of the, the game plan with that. So lots of cool stuff. Uh, I'm going to head over to Nevada. Uh, I'm going to Steve and Cheryl's house, who Steve made the uh, Lodi Slack House art that's on the back wall here. So that's pretty cool. He's got some uh, other goodies he's um, possibly been doing for us. I'll save the rest for later. Thanks for watching.